how are you doing today? Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting and and fun things. Uh, mainly about cross stitch. My name is Amy and I go by Mrs. Flossie on Instagram and on YouTube. And um, I'm excited to be filming today. Just two weeks, not a month. Yay! I made it. It was really hard to get on here because it's so hot outside and I'm trying to stitch as fast as I can on my whip, which I'll show you in a little bit. And um, But I really enjoy coming on and getting to visit with all of you. So I just pushed through the the heat this morning and try to make myself look a little presentable and figured you don't mind to just get on here and and talk so um some fun news in my life is in my family is my son Wyatt proposed to Emma officially they're engaged and I'll put a couple pictures up as I'm talking about them and um, you met Emma here on my channel. She did a few cross stitch. She likes to cross stitch. Of course, right now she's busy in wedding planning mode. We've been to a few venues and um, we finally have secured a venue and we're gonna, they're gonna be getting married early next year. And uh, we are thrilled. We've had a couple of meetings, well, several meetings with her parents and 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 they are just lovely we adore them and um we are super excited to be working with them for the celebration of our children um like i said i'm super excited to be gaining a daughter and um it's going to be a lot of fun so uh what else what else is happening um as it comes to mind i'll bring it up um, as we kind of go along I thought I would start out with a couple of whips um, that are already have been already been started kind of heading into the fall Halloween season I thought it'd be fun to kind of show a couple of previous whips so um, the first one I want to show you is by Lizzie Kate and there is called Halloween rules and here's a picture of um, it's kind of I got my ring light on to c combat the light outside so sorry for the glare um, but that's the Halloween rules all together I might have a picture I could throw up here of it uh, I am using mostly um, sulky weight threads on the spool and some DMC and it's my own conversion. I just looked at the picture and then I pulled uh, colors that I like. And um, it's on, I think it says 28 count. So it's gonna be really big, which I'm excited for because I like, I want it to be really big for my Halloween decorations. And um, here's what I have done so far. All the way down to stay up late. I'll kind of go in closer. I kind of give you a, a a rolling view going up. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, looking at it, uh, this is um, root dyed. I root dyed it myself, and um, I think that it's pulling pretty close to color. I mean, might be a little bit off, but. I love the bright colors. I think that'll be really fun at Halloween time for the grandkids to see. I think I, after I finish this model I'm working on, I, my plan is to start this and do a hard push because um, my grandkids are six and three and I know that they would really love it. I keep looking over here because I have my phone in the stand wrong and the camera's over there, but I usually have the camera over there going to be a struggle today <laughs> but anyway um so yeah that's Halloween rules by Lizzie Kate and I know I think the patterns are still available out there so you can get those the next whip I have uh that I might want to try to get some stitching on before Thanksgiving is Celebrate Harvest by Bridget Gervais this was a uh bonus pattern in the um coming to America that, you, that she released 
And so um, it's really cute with the pilgrims and and corn and it says harvest blessings, a little tablecloth and a little apron. So um, the it came with the, the finishing fabric, which is like a reprint of a, a image of a diary. So that would be really fun finish for the back of it. Um, if I ever get it finished, it'd be nice. So my progress so far, um, well, here are the colors of it. So those are just really fun. And I have, I started from the bottom on the words and I've been I'm working my way up. And uh, yeah, so it wouldn't take very much longer to get that finished. That's another, and I got my little Pioneer Woman bag that I made out of a placemat. And then, oh, I didn't show my, my House of Stitches Dash, my Hocus Pocus bag. That's what I have a uh, Lizzie Kate in. Then I have a bag here that was uh, made by the woodpecker's daughter, Diane, and she used a Teresa Coke fabric, and it's super adorable with a cute inside. This is um, out of Just Cross Stitch, um, October 2021 magazine is where this um, pattern that I'm stitching is. And it's this one here. It's called Halloween Time and it's by the Witchy Stitcher. I think that is just super cute. And um, I'm working on Vintage Country Mocha. I pulled my own floss colors that just look similar to the picture. More sulky weights and DMC. And here is my progress so far. And I think it's really cute. I think it's, there we go. I love those bright blues and oranges. And that's how much I have done so far. So, um, can't wait to get back to that. Hopefully this Halloween season. And then, um, let's see. The next thing I have, um, this is a possible start this fall that I might want to start on. And it's called Autumn Garden. And um, it, include, it includes a 32 count linen, backing fabric, threads, over dyed, and chenille for the edging. It's a full kit by Cherished Stitches. And um, I think that would be a fun, fall start it's still sealed so I have that in my dot dot goose bag it's got Christmas it's a Christmas bag <laughs> oh well and let's see what else I got oh that brings me to I think I have one more a possible start for this coming season. I had kitted this up for um, my sister's mother-in-law. Um, she wanted to try to get back into cross stitching, but she's just having a really hard time seeing it. So I had kitted up all the DMCs for her on floss drops. These are all the colors. And I did the whole chart that has multiple patterns. Um, so these are the colors and it's a prairie schooler and it's called Snowy Nights and it's book number 166. It was um, put back out and this is still available and there are a bunch of little smalls. So I, I kitted up all the colors for all the smalls. So they're all here and they're really fun colors. I think I might just start a couple of these small ones for my um, Christmas tree. Um, I really like the one with the horse on it here. 
and also um, the Cardinals is cute. There's a little girl and a dog. Just a really a lot of fun ones. I'll let you look at it for a second. I also think that this, I have to cover the, cover the um, chart. That one's really cute. So it's all ready to go. So I think I might try to get a little, um, just maybe stitch it on uh, some vintage country mocha or something and try to get a few of those or at least one of them done for Christmas. Uh, and then this might be a really quick video, by the way, I'm looking at the wrong side. I, I should have stopped and changed my camera around, but it's so difficult getting the right angle. It doesn't have all the junk around me. <laughs> okay. Now, I, if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen my current design um, that I've done. I, as you know, I've started designing some cross-stitch charts. And if you haven't been to my Etsy store, please go visit uh, Mrs. Flossy on Etsy. And I have PDFs and paper charts there of my designs. I have two reproductions and um, I'm, you've all seen them at nauseum, I'm sure by now, but um, I am working on my original fall piece and I did a sneak peek on Instagram. So I wanna show it to you, it's called The Ribbon Thief. And um, I've, I've started from the bottom and I'm working my way up. And it's kind of crooked. I was stitching on it this morning, so don't mind the fact that it's all wonky. I should have taken a minute to iron, but if I would have had to heat up the iron, I don't know that I would have made it to a video because it's one of those days. But anyway, um, there's a bunch of more flowers coming on the top that I haven't done yet. You have some pumpkins and a gourd and the ribbon thief right there. Look at that ribbon he's stealing. And um, this is on, um, I can't show you the chart because the chart's not done yet because I am still stitching the model. Picture this plus Heartland, um, 36 count. But um, I laid Vintage Country Mocha next to this and it's a very, very close match um, and color wise. So if you had Vintage Country Mocha, you could stitch it on that. I'm hoping to get this done by summer school in August. So um, I just really love it. I wanna to try to see if I can get in. It's kind of changing the colors. I zoom in close, making it too brown. It's wonky coloring on here, darn it. But anyway, little sneak peek. And this has been my primary stitch for a while now. And so um, I can't wait to get that out um for purchase and i'm very excited about it so let me show you some of the colors i have i used up almost all of uh camouflage this is almost finished to the blue there and it's going to call for two skeins of that if you're doing two threads for sure i'm stitching with one thread so but i think those are really fun fall colors and um, again, the camouflage is basically here, it's almost finished. So super excited about that. Let me know what you think. And um, so that's my current whip. Uh, we did have giveaways for last time. I wanted to give those um, out for reaching 3000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you to everyone who are, is a subscriber. I appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video. Just at least subscribe. That really does help my channel out. Um, okay, so I had a bunch of giveaways for reaching 3,000 subscribers. So I'm going to call those out. And I'll also put names on the screen in case I pronounce it wrong, okay? So I had Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Hold. And this one it goes to... Um, Davis Catherine 57. Davis Catherine 57. Congratulations. Send me an email or instant message on Instagram with uh, your address. 
Uh, number two is Sophia Church by La Di Da. And this one goes to Patricia Gerard, 4303. Sorry if I'm pronouncing names wrong. Heartstring Samplery, a ship for Mary, was number three. And this is for Marilyn Furlitz, Furlitz 2003. I know I said that one wrong. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to put the names on the screen. Uh, Lucy Snushel, uh, goes number four, goes to Press B Mom. Press B Mom. Congratulations. Iris So Sampler by Twin Peak Primitives was number five. And that one goes to, um, shoot, I lost the postie. I'm going to put the name on the screen, so look up. <laughs> okay, um, Mary Ann Smith by the Scarlet House goes to Linda's Post 2533. Congratulations. And uh, Home Sweet Home, Elise Curtis, number seven, goes to Arlene Curry. And then I had offered two PDFs from my shop for Out of the Country. And I only had one person respond from New Zealand. So um, I'm just giving away one PDF, your choice. And the name is Donna Bennett, 5106. Congratulations. So thank you to all my subscribers. And, and um, send me an email to so you claim your prize. I'll get that mailed out to you. Um, also, uh, have a little bit of stitchy kindness for my birthday. Uh, my friend gave me one of Barry's Stitch Folk um, t-shirts, and I love that. Super excited. I've been trying not to wear it because I want to save it for summer school, so it looks really nice. Um, but I've been dying to wear it. Um, uh, another friend gave me from, um... Facebook and Etsy, so much to love. This adorable, cute little bunny rabbit pouch, zipper pouch. And um, can't wait to put that into a project bag. Is that adorable? And also a um, thread keep. We love Halloween. So thank you, thank you. That was a fun birthday gift. Um, over at my friend's, Diane, she had a bunch of beads. And so she let me make a couple of... Um, zipper pulls or bag pulls or scissor fobs and they say Mrs. Flossie on them and I made this one the bigger and then I made a smaller one and this one has a pair of scissors on here I think I'm gonna move these scissors um, up, up to the end anyway super cute and fun to make so thank you thank you everybody and then I wanted to um, also, uh, to do my haul, uh, oh, so I don't, I don't have very much haul, but I have, um, I went in with Tedra, we, she ordered some hand dyed wool from Blackberry Primitives, Silver Mist, and Clementine, and these were for the Stacey Nash, um, uh, releases, new releases she just did, and this hand dyed wool is gorgeous so thank you Tedra for buying it and ordering it and, and letting me split it with you so that's good for some uh, for some charts not for my uh, CC Nash charts for finishing and then I thought it would be fun to go through some fall charts in my stash uh, not very many to give some fun look at uh, some of my collection and get excited for the fall weather and try not to focus on the extreme heat we're dealing with. Um, I have this one, Stacey Ness Prim Primitives House of um, Berries Chapel Road Turkey Hall Farm. This has been a popular one lately. You guys have all seen this one. This would be a really fun one to start. Um, Plum Street Samplers. I've always loved this one, Gather In. And um, love that. But stitching that, this area here and the roof and that house will be no joke. <laughs> Another one from Plum Street Samplers that I really like is um, Goodness and Thanks. 
and it's a little um, curl pin cushion with a lady and it's, it's really hard to see when I'm showing you. Sorry guys. One I've been dying to stitch and maybe I'll start it soon. I think I even have fabric cut for it. It's Olga's Autumn Stocking by Plum Street Samplers. I love this one. This one would be, it would take a while, but I would love to get that started. Um, and then I have Autumn Rolls by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Their stuff is really cute. That would be another adorable one. I also have Autumn in Hawkrun Hollow. Another big one. But it would be really fun. And last but not least, um, by Autumn Lane. I thought a lot of these would be really cute to do as ornaments. Like just that turkey, the give thanks, the fall, little fall truck. Instead of stitching all of it, I think I would break it up and stitch it as um, ornaments, little ornaments. So that concludes my little stash, stash review for fall. Um, I have a lot more in there, but I don't want this to be too long of a video. Um, I do have some giveaways for today. So um, sometimes during the printing process, uh, there are little flubs and stuff. And um, on my stitching case, I had a bunch of charts that came with red smudges on them. Um, and they're not, they don't affect the pattern at all. They're just on the cover, but I didn't feel good um, selling them with the little red marks. So I took them out of inventory and I'm just gonna give them away to you guys. Like I said, it's just on the on the front of the chart. It doesn't affect the the cover. It doesn't affect the inside chart for stitching. So I have four of those. So if you would like an opportunity to win this my one of these stitching case charts, which would be really cute as a pin pillow framed, you don't have to make it put it on a stitching case. Um, but if you want to win one of these stitching case um, charts, put on their, um, the word stitching. Tell me what you're stitching. Say I'm stitching and tell me a name of a chart that you're stitching on. And I'll choose these four people next week uh, within the US. If I happen to choose you and you're from out of the US, I will send you a PDF. Okay, and then for fun, I wanted to show you my latest release, Always Forward. Um, I have the chart here, and they are in my Etsy shop, as well as at the attic. And um, super fun stitch with the cardinal and um, the rose and the vine. It's really fun. Always forward, never backward. So that is my latest release. I think that that pretty much wraps up today. It's a quick little video, but it's much quicker than waiting a whole month for one. <laughs> so I wanna to try to keep the momentum up. And I wanna thank you all for watching and your support with my uh, designing efforts and charts. And I hope you're enjoying them and um, Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, stay flossy, my friends. Bye.